Hi friends, so today we are moving into part 7 of module 1 in which we are going to deal with what is economics of generation and some terms of important terms used in the economics of generation. This is a part of subject power generation transmission and protection of the 5th semester electrical and electronics engineering students under the KTU syllabus. So this was our module 1 topics. We have already covered the first half and now we are going into the economics of generation. And already we studied what is meant by load curve. Now we are going into uh, some important terms which we need for this further study. And we are going to uh, study five important terms uh, which are being used in the economics of generation. The first term is connected load. What is connected load? It is the sum of continuous ratings of all the equipments which are connected to the supply system. Uh, for easily understanding, I will be explaining it with our hope. If you are having different equipments at our home and if you are adding all the ratings of the uh, equipments which are connected in our at our home, then the whole value, the total value is known as the connected load. So for, ex for instance, they have given an example. If a consumer has 500 watt lamps and one power point with 500 watts, then the connected load of the consumer is 5 into 100 plus 500, which is equal to total 1000 watts. We know that we are having different equipments at our home and surely our connected load will be very high. Correct? Not 100,000 watts. Now, what about, uh, this is the case of a home. But when we are considering a power station, we know that in a power station, the loads, uh, load is in megawatts. So, the connected load will be also very high. Uh, it will be in megawatt, not in watts. So, Connected load is actually the sum of all continuous ratings of the equipment which is connected to that uh, to that supply system. If it is a power station, which is connected to a power station. Okay, so next term is maximum demand. It is the greatest demand of the load on the power station during a particular period of time. So this term we are, I just introduced to you uh, in the last video, what is meant by maximum demand. I will just show you this one uh, using the curve. So just going through this load curve, what is the maximum demand that is occurring at, uh, at which period of time it is occurring? All those details will be obtaining from a load curve. So it is the maximum demand is the maximum value or load which is occurring at a, at a period of time. So if you are considering this day, what is the maximum demand of this day? You can see the peak point or the highest point is at this point and the maximum demand value is 6 megawatts correct so 6 megawatt is the maximum demand and this is occurring at a time period which what is the time at which it is occurring that is 6 pm that is 6 pm so uh, the time period at which it is occurring is 6 pm and the maximum demand value is equal to 6 megawatt so what is the purpose of finding this uh, value that I'll just say. So the maximum demand is generally less than a connected load. So we mentioned about connected load just, uh, just before this term maximum demand. So connected load if we are having uh, many equipments, we will not turn on all the equipments at a particular time. In a day itself if we are con considering uh, what all equipments we are having at home, we won't operate all the devices at a time. Okay, then only it becomes equal to the connected load. So the maximum demand will never be equal to or greater than the connected load. It will be always less than the connected load. Okay, so the maximum demand is generally less than connected load because all the consumers do not switch on their connected load to the system at a particular time. Now, what is the need for finding this maximum demand? It is very important in determining the installed capacity of a station. Okay, and the station should be also capable of meeting the maximum demand. It should be a power station should be able to meet the maximum demand. Whatever be the time it is occurring, the plant should be able to deal with that maximum demand. Okay, so next comes the term demand factor. So demand factor is just a ratio. So surely it will be a number, correct? Without any unit. So it is a ratio of the maximum demand to the connected load. Maximum demand to the connected load. So surely the value will be less than 1. Why? Because connected load is always 
greater and the maximum demand is always lesser so the connected load is always greater and maximum demand is always lesser than the connected load so the value will be always less than 1 now it is uh, it is expected because the maximum demand will not uh, is generally less than the connected load that is the reason for example if you are considering the maximum demand is 80 megawatt on a power station so whenever we are talking about a power station you should keep in mind that in a power station the the load everything is very high so it uh, it is already always mentioned in megawatts so 80 megawatt and 100 megawatt then the demand factor will be equal to 80 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.8 and we need the demand factor for determining the capacity of the plant equipment how much um, how much units should be added in the system how much generating units should be added to meet the demand that knowledge will be obtained only if we know the demand factor next one is the average load so what is meant by an average load we know that uh, i just mentioned this one also in the last previous video uh, what is uh, what is the average load if you are considering a daily load curve and if you are taking the area under the whole curve we will be obtaining the total number of units generated on the day and if you are dividing it with 24 what means it means the total uh, sorry the average of the power generation on that day on that particular day correct so similarly the average load occurring on the power station it is known as the average load and so we can calculate three types of average loads which are daily average load from daily load curve monthly average load from the monthly load curve and yearly average load from the yearly load curve okay now how can we find it just take the uh, number of units generated in a day divided by 24 hours we will get the daily average load if the total number of generators is generated in a month is obtained then we divide divided by the number of hours in a month then we will obtain what is monthly average load now if we have to find what is the yearly average load then we have to take number of units generated in a year and we have to divide by the total number of hours we are having in a year correct that means 8760 you just calculate and find out it will be 8760 hours so thus we can find out each average loads one is daily monthly and the third one yearly now the last one we are going to study in this video is the load factor which is one of the important factor that is load factor load factor is uh, the ratio of average load to the maximum demand what is the average load in a given period of time divided by the maximum demand it will be giving you what is meant by a load factor okay uh, so uh, as in the previous case we can also find out the daily load factor monthly load factor or annual load factor according to uh, which load curve is being selected or uh, which load um, uh, time period is being selected okay now uh, just think about what will be the value of this load factor the value will be always less than one why because why why it is so always the maximum demand will be greater than the average load so average load will be less uh, and the maximum demand is higher so surely the load factor value will be always less than one okay now we are we can find this load factor uh, just by doing one more thing that was also mentioned if you are multiplying with t hours on numerator and denominator then we can just modify this equation into units of units generated in t hours divided by the maximum demand in t hours so units generated in t hours divided by the maximum demand in t hours uh, that ratio will give you what is meant by load factor okay so this is actually done to find this load factor value from a load curve so that we will be studying in the further classes uh, so what is the main role for this load factor it mainly plays a key role in uh, determining the overall cost which is being uh, per unit generated for one unit what is the cost this is being actually calculated uh, or uh, it, uh, load factor is one of the key ro uh, has a key role in determining this value and one more point is that higher the load factor then the cost uh, will be lesser if you are having higher load factor then uh, the cost will be lesser which means what we have to do which means the average load will be uh, approximately uh, becoming near to the 
maximum demand if it is so then it means that the uh, the cost of the unit generated will be becoming lower i hope you understood all the five important terms so thank you everyone for listening stay tuned